Hi everyone, I'm Rachit Kator and I'm the founder of Stackbank. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how you can manage and automate your entire hiring and recruiting process. Starting from tracking your applicants, collecting the resumes in the database via form, and sending them automated notifications and emails, we are going to talk about how you can manage your entire applicant tracking journey in Stackbank. So let's get started. So I'm here in this recruitment tracker stack, uh, which is basically a stack by template. You can add this template directly to your workspace and get started within a minute. So uh, in this template, we have two tables, applicants and positions. So these are all the open positions uh, that we are hiring for the job description of that position. How many vacancies are there? What is the requirement? What is the status of that particular position? And how many applicants have come, you know, on a particular position and who is it handled by? And here we are basically uh, tracking all the applicants that we have, you know, within our database. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a form. So I, I'll go ahead and create a form from here. So there is a job application form like this. So if you want to create your own form, you basically uh, just drag and drop the information that you want to collect. Just reorder it, make it required. And these are all the different things, uh, you know, that we are collecting, you know, within a form. Now this form can be embedded onto any website or on your careers page, or you can even share the link with any of the applicants. So this is, you know, what the form would look like. So somebody would just add the information. Say Rashid Khator, Bionethan, form. Add a phone number. Any information I want to add on the cover letter, the resumes, and the position I'm applying for. Let's just say I'm looking for a machine learning specialist. Submit it. As soon as your form is submitted, a new record is created automatically here. Now, here, what you've done is you've essentially, we have added two different columns. You know, what is the status of that particular applicant? And if suppose we want to schedule an interview with them, what would be the interview date? Automatically, everything would come in, you know, the position and the date applied and so on. And you can add like notes, you know, what is the, what are the ratings uh, of that particular candidate? You know, how, how was the, uh, you know, phone interview uh, status and who was the interviewer? And what is the current status? So now let's talk about how you can automate all of this. Now, if you want to schedule an interview and you want, uh, you know, to send an automated email to that particular applicant. So uh, we are going to basically create some automations. We are going to use Zapier for it. Zapier is a no code workflow automation platform where you can connect between two different apps. So in this case, we are going to connect uh, Stackby to uh, Gmail and automatically send uh, emails to the applicants that have applied. So I'll go to Zapier, I'll create a new Zap. Now in this, in Zapier, you basically first have to add a trigger. Here the trigger is at, as soon as a new row is added in Stackby. So in this case, I've already added the Stackby account. The event is new row, I continue it. I just have to get the API key from the stack by account settings and select the trigger. I've selected like the workspace, the stack and the tables, you know, that I have to basically trigger from. So in this case, HR and recruiting, recruitment tracker is a stack and the table is the applicants table that we see here. So I basically test it and you will see, uh, you will find new rows like this. You continue it. Now the first action that you want to do is you want to send an email using your Gmail. So the event is you basically have to select Gmail as the, as a service, 
the event is send email just connect your gmail uh, gmail account and here in the action you basically have to uh, you know then automatically fill information from the table into the zapier so so the two would be the email column here so you will see you know there is an email column here and we automatically want to send it send an email to uh, the emails added in this particular column if you want to cc someone you can easily cc it say for example uh, you know like i want to cc this to my couriers at stack by uh, uh, couriers at stack by email uh, if you want to bcc to someone from and from name let us say stack by or you can talk about hr from stack by right and automatically uh, and this is the body where hi first name is essentially taken uh, from the first name column and uh, you know this will be an uh, an email as soon as somebody applies through your form an automatic email would be sent uh, to them so thank you for your interest we are reviewing your application we'll get back to you with the next steps and continue it so once you uh, send you know test this action So, so you basically get an email like this. Hi, thank you for your interest in working. We are reviewing your application. We'll get back to you with the next steps as soon as possible. So, as soon as a new resume comes into you, uh, comes into your database in Stackby, a new email will be sent automatically to that applicant. That you know we are already reviewing your application. So this gives a great reinforcement uh, to the candidate that you are looking at their application and they're not uh, really uh, you know. Uh, you know they're not in the dark you know about what their application would, uh, you know about their application process so so this is like the first step now there are two steps that you want to take right first is you know either you schedule an interview you know with that applicant and for that if you want to schedule an interview you want to send them you know certain information that hey we would like to take this to the next round please you know go ahead and schedule an interview on our calendar so that is the first and the second thing is you know if you want to like outright reject them right uh, so you have different statuses you know that you want to manage whether it's a first round second round or rejection you can basically automate this so there is an action within zapier called paths where you can create multiple paths you know in your zap workflow so here we've used you know the action as paths and uh, uh, the first step is interview for for the process so uh, here we just add added the name you know of what uh, this path would do now uh, this basically uh, you know you have to set up you know the rule right so the the rule is as soon as as soon as like a status is scheduled an interview you basically schedule an event right you continue it and you send an email via gmail so again connect to your account the action is uh, you know this is the to account you know from is this schedule interview with stackby is the subject and Uh, in the body, you're basically adding, "Hi, we are happy to proceed further with your application. The interview is scheduled on this particular interview date. So the interview date you can add it here, right? Uh, and automatically, when you add it, you know that interview date will be taken, you know, in Zapier, and you know they will send an email. And then you can also add, like, please schedule a time uh, on this link below, and you can add your calendar link so the applicant uh, can then just schedule a time on your calendar, right? And confirm the same." with you so this becomes like a complete automated process right where you don't have to like really uh, you know send them manual emails you know about their application process and this goes step by step all you need to do is just change the status you know in stackby and automatically this email will be triggered so so let's just retest this action so as soon as for example somebody uh, this goes to schedule an interview this particular zap will be uh, you know triggered so in this case i'll just manually trigger it right now and you will see schedule interview with tag by email has already come we are happy to proceed further the interview is scheduled on this particular date please schedule a time here and confirm the same regards this tag by charting you can of course you know modify this email uh, you know as per your convenience as per your template that you have within your organization or you can even change the links that you do and the same goes with you know if this particular applicant is now rejected uh, you know then 
there is another path that we have created in zapier where for rejected applicants the, the path is the same where only continue where uh, you know where scheduled where this particular status contains rejected again connect to a gmail account uh, you know your account the action is this you have to basically send an email to this particular person and the body is this right thank you for applying to this particular position this uh, this position will automatically be taken from 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 here you know from where they are applying for and we appreciate your interest in the position but never say never you know do apply for a different position in the future we'll be happy to re reconsider again and you continue it and you basically retest this action i'm again manually triggering this but but all of this will be entirely automated so this is your applicant application status and i automatically get an email like this so this is how you can like entirely automate your uh, recruitment process not only uh, you know collecting you know information via the forms but also just by clicking uh, you know a drop down status it would automatically trigger an email and uh, you know once you once you're ready with this zapier all you need to do is just publish it and switch it on and zapier will do the rest and it will automatically uh, keep sending emails uh, to the right candidates so you know this is a fairly you know easy template for uh, hr and uh, you know for for your hr team or if you're an hr manager this is a must have you can track everything in a single place but also automate your workflow now imagine you know you are hiring 10 15 20 people every month you know this becomes like a de facto place for you to manage everything right and saves countless number of hours you know within your hr team and just automates your entire applicant tracking process so do give it a try um head to the stack by template you know check out the recruitment tracker template and go to zapier and set up the zap so i'll send the uh, send the details and the zap link in the description so just take a look at it and uh, give it a try for your teams if you have any feedback just let us know and we'll definitely improve on this particular workflow or if you're stuck anywhere with just a email or a chat bye thanks